Hey guys, Carol Steve here with a trailer review. This time I'll be reviewing the Sodo, Counter Runner x Level 2, Burger Gamer, and Bugster Virus from Counter Runner x -Aid. So, for our next look at the sale of the series, we'll be taking a look at the last of the retail Sodo releases that I have, and the ones that I couldn't really fit into the other videos. So, let's get started. First up, we have Counter Runner x Action Gamer Level 2. Now, I'm only reviewing this for the sake of actually having him here for the combination with the Burger Gamer, but I'm going to take a good look at him anyway. So, of course, being x he's primarily pink plastic, but there is a lot of nice stickered and painted detail on. You can see that the head is almost fully painted, with really the only stickers being the eyepiece. We've got the chest piece, which is completely done up in this metallic silver, and the uh, sticker for the chest plate. Got some nice paint for the shoulder pads, and on the back here, a couple of stickers there and here. Got more stickers here, here, and here. Have tempographed lines all over him. The uh, camera driver and the camera was a thought holder on him as well. And we've got some stickers here and here, as well as silver paint for the shin guards and knee pads. The one thing to note is that these are actually stickers that were included with the Burger Gamer, since these are for his Burger Gamer Level 4 form. And I didn't put them on here because I primarily display them in that form, so just know that when you get this figure, the stickers for these are going to look different. Articulation wise, it is basically the same as the others. But there are a couple of things to note. The first thing is that for the head, this is one of the earlier XXOs, so it's a bit more limited. While it is on a ball, jo while it is on a ball joint, the one problem with it is that there isn't really any tilt to the head. It can tilt down, but it can only tilt up that far. I mean, he's pretty much always in this slightly down-tilted head position. The other thing is that he's one of the few Sodos to actually have wrist articulation, and that's probably to help him ride the Sodo uh, Turbo Bike Game Level 2. Or rather, Laser Bike Game Level, level 2. As he kind of needs to have his wrist turned this way in order to properly ride that. Other side of that, there's not too much else to talk about there. Being the first release of him, or rather being his first humanoid form, comes with a standard stand with the sticker there. And then the dummy head here with the eye sticker, and of course, being a level 2 rider, this was divided up into the action body and cross armor sets. Then he also comes with the Gosh Gun Breaker in Hammer Mode and Sword Mode, or Blade Mode. Now these are almost entirely painted, with the exception of the cigars for the A and B buttons. But the big thing here is that they don't have proper handles, just these little pegs for pegging into the hands. Which can be done pretty simply. Just like so. It is an interesting trade-off, but it does look pretty good. And of course, you can then attach it to the sand via the peg on the back. Next up we have the Burger Gamer, who is probably one of the most justifiable characters for making exclusive to the Solo series, because while the Juju Burger Gadget was a retail release, it was only ever used in one episode. So, the Burger Gamer is this little metallic goldenrod burger with some eyes right there, or sticker. You've got his 
painted brown bun there, or rather the patty. Then the lettuce down the bottom, which is also a couple of stickers. On the top, you can see some little indents to look like or imitate seeds. You've got his little arms, which are actually a ketchup and mustard bottle, respectively. And these can be pivoted around. And you have his little feet down here, which are on roller skates. And these are also on ball joints. Now, this character also makes sense to make more exclusive to this series because the way it combines with x aid some parts are left out, and that's not really something Bondi likes to do with their gimmick figure lines. Okay, so for the combination, we're first going to need to do a bit of work on x -Aid. First up, we'll take off his standard gamer driver and put on the replacement belt with two goshats in it. Then, going to remove his chest plate, take off the shoulder pads, And place it with the ones that came with the Burger Gamer, which are a slightly deeper shade of pink. An easy way to tell which one is which is that the original ones have silver on the inside or gray, while the new ones have black on the inside. Then, going to take these pieces, pieces and attach them to his arms. Via these pegs on the bottom of his wrists, or the bottom of his hands, rather. Then we'll take off the old head and replace it with the new one. Just like that. Then we're going to take the Burger Gamer, pop off the bottles, and pop off his feet. Then open him up and remove the new chest plate from inside. Then we'll set him aside, pop on the new chest plate. Take off his old feet and replace them with the new ones. And lastly, attach the bottles to these little holes. Right there and right there. And here we have Conan x -Aid, Burger Action Gamer Level 4. So this is an interesting form because even though it's a Level 4 form, this actually aired and premiered after the Level 5 form. So it's interesting that it's kind of anachronistic in that way. It's also got a pretty unique design. You can see the new head, which is pretty much the same as his regular head, but with this thing resembling a skating helmet or a general sports helmet attached to it. You got the new chest plate with the new chest plate which has a burger detail on it. Of course he's got his ketchup and mustard blasters. And then these roller skates. And while it does seem a little bit odd to add the roller skates and helmet to this design, he does seem to be based on the character on he's clearly based on the character as on the Juju Burger Gashat who is probably supposed to be a server at a drive-in restaurant or drive-in diner, where 
literally would use roller skates to go around and serve the food. And it is a pretty fun looking design overall. And despite having these thin roller skates, you can still bounce them pretty well. Though for more extreme poses, you're obviously going to want to make use of something like the sand. And finally, we have the Bug Survivors, which is the generic grunt for the series. And while grunts are something that are not in every Rider series, they're especially not very common in the early Heisei area, era, and I'm not sure how common or uncommon they were in the Showa era, they are something that have become more common in recent years. Though the interesting thing about the Bugster Virus is that this is just its basic form. It actually changes appearance depending on what game it's being used for. The only thing that stays the same is this odd turkey-like head. Which really is very funny looking. Then you've got the body, which has bits of black, orange, and gray. And here's a bit asymmetrical. The cool thing about this is that there are no stickers here. Everything here is either plastic or paint. So that is pretty uh, relieving and certainly pretty refreshing. It's got some pretty standard articulation on him. Really, the only major thing he's missing as far as articulation goes is wrist articulation in this hand, as he has on this one, and then no waist articulation. Additionally, it comes with this trident here, which is the standard weapon for the Bugsters. You can just unplug the top part, then slide it through the bottom of the hand, and put the top part back on to have it hold the spear or trident. And there we go! So overall these are a couple of fun little extras. As far as the burger game goes, it is a cute little mascot. That is a good compliment to your actual level 2 form, as it gives him a fun and quirky new form. And as far as the bug survivors goes, well it's nothing, not anything too special, it is appreciated in the fact that if you're the kind of person that likes to display your figures, it's nice to sometimes have something for the figures to actually fight against, or be posed fighting against instead of just posing on their own. So, if these guys interest you, try to pick them up. My next review will be of the Deluxe Kivet Belt, tomorrow at 7pm PST. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.